Well, welcome back to Kentucky Cooner. This is January the 6th. I have Mac and May. It is 36 degrees. This is our fourth night out. Last night was a bunch of den trees. I hope this one ain't. I ain't been in this place all season, and I'm going to tell you what. When we came up the hill, I was afraid we wasn't going to make it. I'll show you some of the mud on the truck here in a minute. Let's get out here and put them on the wood. drove up here closer to the dogs they was 900 yards we got up to them we're about 400 yards from them now they ain't gave a bark yet well after 45 minutes the dogs we turned them loose over here they made a big circle i'll show you guys because i just screenshotted it there's my mac they're sounding good finally but it took 45 minutes to finally get a coon struck they went all the way down this holler through another holler up around this ridge and they just dropped down in here you'll see it right there on the map we're hearing a bunch of coyotes in here with the dogs are starting to bump a tree. We're gonna try to get in there to them before the coyotes do. We just got in here 360 yards from them. They're not treed yet. We're gonna let you hear them here. Coons are in rut this time of year and they really move. Yeah, they just dropped down a little lower. Probably can't hear them now. Well, we've been staying just as close as the dogs as we can just to make sure they stay out of trouble with the coyotes. And there's a road down there. I'm a little out of breath climbing these ridges, but they're treed 218 yards finally. They'll be into this walking. We just got Mac and May loaded up there. Now we gotta go down the hill that we came up, but at least we gotta go down the other side. It still looks pretty bad, but the last I can remember, it's a little bit rocky, so maybe we'll be a little bit better off, but if we slide over the hill, you're about to see it. I wanna put it in four-wheel drive low. Let's creep down this thing. Guys, we done it. We made it to the bottom. We're going to our next turnout, and I hope that this ain't five den trees in a row. Turnout number two. Boy, I sure do like the sound of that. 177 yards and are struck in. They're running a hot track there. We'll let you listen to them. big creek down there called east tiger a lot of times coons across i've never hunted these dogs on water big as that i don't know if they're going to cross or not They sure do sound good, don't they? Yeah, they do. They ain't moving. I'm going to go in here to them. They're about 180 yards, just right where they struck in. They struck in 177, went a couple yards, and now they're treeing. We see the coon across the creek. It's right over in a big den. Just went in a den tree right there. There's a big den that just crawled right down in it. Dogs is treed right here. 
Right there is that big creek I was telling you about. Looks about to fall in. It's a big creek. He's gonna grab the dogs, but the coon fooled them. I've never hunted these dogs on big water like this. And I'm glad they didn't swim. Let me help you, Luke. Give me your hand, baby. You wanna fall in the water? Oh, you about pulled me in there. Here, give me your leash. But the coon, 100%, He's right there in that den tree. It was looking at us when we walked in. I popped the camera out here and it went in a hole. Well, May fell in the water there. They could have been more than one coon that could have went under the bank. But we're gonna have to get her out of here. Well, we're doing little short hunts. Luke goes to work at 10 o'clock. I'm wore out when we start and I gotta work early in the morning. So these hunts have been three, four hour hunts somewhere in there. And uh, this weekend we're gonna get out and make a little bit bigger, longer hunt. We have had four den trees in a row and I'm ready to get out tomorrow night, hopefully and break the curse of these dens. I've had enough of them. Y'all thanks for watching Kentucky Cooner. We'll be back out here tomorrow. Bring it home, Luke. Till next time, put them on the wood.